A thing is right when it tends to preserve the integrity, the stability, and beauty of the biotic community. It is wrong when it tends otherwise. Eldo Leopold It is not enough to be sustainable in terms of timber production, but to be sustainable in terms of healthy forest ecosystems that will remain forever. The mission of the Foundation for Sustainable Forests is to protect forested land and ecosystems and support rural communities through working forests, to raise awareness of the importance of preserving intact forested ecosystems, and to highlight sustainable forestry and practices for the benefit of the land. My name is Guy Dunkel. Uh, I'm a forester with the Foundation for Sustainable Forests. I'm also on the board of directors. Uh, I'm in charge of the land management that takes place on the forest properties, um, deciding what activities should take place and then overseeing that process, um, working with the horse loggers and the uh, plant control people. We're more concerned about the trees left behind. You know, we're leaving behind the most desirable trees. So if Pat and Ray damage them throughout the process. It doesn't matter if I mark the correct trees to be harvested. If they damage everything else getting those out, then we, we, we're completely counteracted to the goal. So Pat's job is to take a big tree like that with a big top and hard wood, find some way to get it on the ground without damaging the other trees, and then also he's got to pay attention to the horses coming in to remove that log, and then I'll let Pat go in there. Yeah, there's the process. There's just a couple things I think about. Like, number one's my safety. So I walk up, that tree's been marked. It's gonna, I mean, we're gonna take it. I look around, make sure there's no branches, no trees above that could fall on me. And then I look at which way the tree's heavy, which way the weight of the top is. And then I look at the trees around. Like Guy said, the trees we're leaving are the ones we're concerned about. <laughs> What I did basically is give the tree a place to bend. Because I mean, if you just, if I just ran the saw through the tree without doing this, it's going to stay attached to the last minute and then it's just going to go wherever it wants. So, what I did here is remove some wood. This little bit of wood you see right here, this goes the whole way through the tree, this is where I ran the saw. So, essentially, we have this open cut, this open face. Then this little piece of wood going the whole way across the tree like this, and then it's hollow behind it, and it's still attached back here by a lot of wood. This is the hinge. This is what the tree's going to bend on right here, that little piece of wood. And what I did with the saw there, like whatever way this hinge faces is the way it's going, so I just get behind my saw and line it up the best I can. Lots of people do that different ways, but that worked for me. So we're trying to, to do what I would call worst first tree selection. We're trying to harvest the worst trees. It's not healthy and it has lower potential. Now that this is on the ground, so I'll cut it. It'll probably be a log and a pole. And then I also have to think about the guy with the horses. I'm Ray Blystone. Uh, I'm the guy that drives the horses and gets the logs out of the woods. Um, it's just, there's no better way to get logs out of the woods, especially when you're doing light thinning. It just, it does a lot less damage to the ground. I can get through a much narrower spot with the horses without doing damage to the trees that you're trying to save for future harvest. I use a log arch uh, to get the logs up off the ground a little bit so they do less damage when you're getting them out. Makes it easier on the horses to get them up a little bit. Horses compact the soil vertically. They don't move it like a tractor tire does. If the tire comes down on the soil, it shifts it as that movement damages the soil significantly more than a hoof going straight down on the soil. So almost all the time you'll see that the wildflowers and the tree seedlings grow back sooner in a horse skid trail than they do in a skidder trail. 
The best definition I can come up with for sustainable forestry is the idea that we improve or maintain the quality of the forest plants we're managing. And I'm saying plants because I think we manage plants and then the, the animals follow as a result of our management. But, but that's the idea, it's not the value or the quantity, but it's the quality.